uh, I want to talk about demonetization which was done on uh, November 8, 2016 by Mr. Modi. Uh, I feel, I believe that this was like a great electric shock on both the economy as well as the lives of great many uh, Indians. Uh, India has a large chunk of informal economy which is dependent upon cash transactions for everyday uh, lives of the people. And uh, on that fateful day, it has actually impacted a great number of people who dependent on this crash economy. And that has led to a, that has wrought uh, an impact on the lives of many people. We have documented the great many impacts, great many uh, the impacts of this particular demonetization on many reports and many people have seen that thing. But what is also missing is the lives lost uh, due to demonetization. There are varying reports starting from something like 100 to 150 lives which are lost as a result of demonetization, uh, which I believe is one of those ill-conceived policy impact of uh, Mr. Modi and his cohorts. While the avowed reasons for demonetization were, you know, black money or uh, sometimes even terrorism, etc., the narrative keeps changing from one of unearthing uh, black money in the initial uh, announcement on 8th of uh, 19, 2016 of Mr. Modi to one of cashless economy or digitalization by about 17th of November of the same month. So much so, there was a confusion about what exactly this particular demonetization uh, wanted to achieve. Two years passed or three years passed by now, we have now come to a conclusion that the demonetization has not achieved any of its uh, intended purposes. So much so, about 99% of the cash that was withdrawn in the form of 500 rupees and 1000 rupee notes were accounted for by the RBI, which though belatedly announced that uh, de demonetization has not achieved its purposes. So what's now uh, the impact of that thing? We have about 200, 100 to 150 people who are dead, who lost their lives as a result of demonetization thing. While the narratives of uh, demonetization changed, varied during this period, from November to December, whatever it is. Uh, during the election campaign of BJP, nothing of that sort is mentioned either in the manifesto or even in the election rallies anywhere in the country. The narrative itself is missing now. What is now uh, needed and what is now demanded is who should be held responsible for these deaths? I do feel that Mr. Modi alone is responsible for all these deaths, the deaths of our fellow Indians and nobody is bothered about that. And I still feel that we, Mr. Modi owes an apology for the lives lost because of his ill-conceived policy of demonetization. Uh, we hear these days of uh, people demanding apology for about 120 people who are dead 
by General Dyer's massacre, brut butcher of Jillian Wallabagh, and we demand say, an apology from UK. But should we not expect some such apology from Mr. Modi for the 150 lives which are lost because of his ill-conceived demonetization?